Hey guys, it's me again, Daniel, you know, that guy who used to work for Project Zorgo, but quit. That's a very important part. I quit, all right? I don't work there anymore. Instead, I wanna take down Project Zorgo and I wanna expose all their secrets. And I have some scary new information for all you guys. I don't know where they find the time, but on top of doing Doomsday Date stuff, they're developing this weird contraption. And apparently it's a new way that they're gonna recruit members into Project Zorgo. So one of you ninjas sent me this Project Zorgo video. We'll watch this video together, all right? We have had a major breakthrough in our MKU research. We have finished constructing this device here. We are calling this the Neuro Contagion System. Okay, so look at that thing. Neuro Contagion. Contagion. That's like, that's like contagious, you know, like if somebody sneezes on you and you're like, Hey man, your sickness is contagious. I'm gonna get sick too. So I guess why they called it that is it's like Project Zorgo has these thoughts that YouTube is bad. And if they put this thing on somebody's head, that thought that they have will become contagious. And the person wearing the thing will agree that YouTube needs to be deleted. If this is true, if this is a real thing, that actually works, that's really scary. I mean, they, they could put it on me, and then I would think projects are, and then there I go again. I'm, I'm a bad hacker again. What they say next is especially scary. We'll keep playing. In fact, right now we are holding a YouTuber in Territory 74. This Saturday, he will be our first test subject to try on the Neuro Contagion system. Is that really true? So they, they have a YouTuber already, like locked up somewhere? Like ha Territory 74. I don't know what that is. If you guys know what that is, let me know, comment below. Now, I don't know who that YouTuber is. I just, I really hope it's not who I think it is. Because Chad, he's been missing for a while now. I mean, I've, I've been in the Tesla waiting for him to come back and he never has come back. Last me and V saw him, he was in the elevator and then just the screen went black. I hope not, because as we all know, Chad Wild Clay, he's really a nice guy. He's trying to stop these Project Zorgo lunatics from taking down YouTube. I don't know how he's gonna get out of this one if they put something on his head that will transform his brain. I just don't know what's going on anymore, to be honest. I hacked the security cameras for the Luxor, but not at the top where I think Chad and VR, so I have no idea what's going on. So how did we get in this crazy predicament? How are they doing this? So I'm gonna expose some Project Zorgo secrets for you guys. All right, so in V's video, this one right here, this was when the plan all started. We were gonna go to the Luxor, we were gonna take down Project Zorgo. And we had this plan, we were like, you know what, Project Zorgo, smart, whether we like it or not, they're a bunch of smart people, they're able to hack into our phone lines, so we're gonna be one step ahead of them. We're not even gonna talk on our phones. We're gonna talk on our walkie-talkies. V's gonna go to the store, she's gonna buy some walkie-talkies, she's gonna leave one for Chad, Chad's gonna pick it up, and then they're gonna be able to communicate. Sounds like a great plan, right? And I mean, it, it was a great plan. Unless somebody picks up the walkie-talkie before Chad does. And that's exactly what happened. Watch this part right here. So she sees this like painting thing and she puts the walkie-talkie down. You can see her putting it down right there. And she told Chad, I'm gonna put it down right here. And then look at Chad's video. He's in the exact same place and he goes to pick it up, but it's not there. So this is what I think happened. Right as V puts down the walkie-talkie, something distracts her and she turns away. She thinks she sees the hacker, somebody wearing a black hoodie and everything. So anyway, she turns around, the walkie-talkie's gone. She assumes, oh, okay, Chad must have picked up the walkie-talkie when I wasn't looking. She was mistaken. You guys might be saying, Daniel, Oh, you silly man. She wasn't mistaken because she heard Chad's voice. That's clearly Chad's voice. Listen right here. Chad, Chad, you there? Yes, I am here. Yeah, Chad's talking to her on the walkie-talkie. Sounds just like Chad, right? And yeah, you're right, it does sound like Chad. It's a little weird though, it's a little robotic. It's not Chad, look at Chad's video, right? He goes to the same place, the Egyptian statue. Instead of a walkie-talkie, he finds a note. And the note says, they didn't have any walkie-talkies, but I did find a cool clue. But yeah, it's somebody, it's the hacker. The hacker picked up the walkie-talkie when V wasn't looking and instead dropped off a note for Chad, so they both would think that everything is going fine. But still, how does that sound like Chad talking to V? I mean, it, it sounds just like Chad. Just don't go in there, trust me, it's sketchy. We're gonna get to that really soon in this video. I'm gonna explain how they did that. So this part's really weird too. V hears Chad on the walkie-talkie saying, V, I'm hungry, can you buy me some french fries? But V, I'm getting really hungry. Do you think you can buy me some takeaway what? fries? You want me to get you some fries? And V's like, okay, you weirdo, sure. And she puts the fries on this table, right? This is really nuts. Look at Chad's video. There's somebody eating something. So either that's one of the hackers, that's the guy talking on the walkie-talkie to V, or that's just some random person who was like, oh, free fries, I don't know. Once again, Chad's being really weird, right? Talking on the walkie-talkie to V. All of a sudden, he's like, hey V, say my name. Hey, can you say my name really quickly? 
Why why are you being so weird? And V's like, what the heck? You're really strange, Chad. And Chad's like, just say my name. Just just say my name very loud. It makes no sense. Why would Chad say that? V pretty much tells Chad to just stop being a weirdo. And then whoever is trying to get V to say the name Chad very loud does something very clever. What's going on here? Vivi, oh my gosh, I need your help. Chad? 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 Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Chad! Chad, what happened? Look at that, what happened? V started saying Chad very loud. And it turns out it was all a trick. Very clever, right? But why? Why is the hacker even doing this in the first place? Well, if we watch Chad's video, we can see why. So here's Chad, he made it all the way up to the 21st floor, and all of a sudden he hears something coming from the elevator. What does he hear? Chad? Did you guys hear that? V! V! Hold on, V! It's opening. I'm gonna let you out of here. Hold on. Sounds like V's voice, right? Turns out he goes in the elevator. V isn't there. Instead, it's an Amazon Alexa speaker. V's voice was playing on the speaker. They tricked Chad. They recorded V's voice screaming, Chad, Chad, Chad and played it inside the elevator so Chad would go inside the elevator and get trapped. So I mean, that's proof right there. The hackers record our voices, somehow put them into a computer, and then they can say things and sound exactly like us. I think that's why whoever V was talking to on the walkie-talkie sounds just like Chad. They're just piecing together little recordings of Chad's voice. It's just so confusing. It just shows how smart Project Zorgo is. Anyway, the doomsday is coming up really quickly. And on top of that, Saturday is tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day that Project Zorgo claims they're going to control somebody's thoughts and somebody's mind and convince them to join Project Zorgo. So all of us, we're gonna have one less person helping us out. I don't know who that person is. I hope it's not Chad. Like I said, I, I don't have access to the security cameras anymore. I only have access to the lower parts of the Luxor, not the top part. So, I mean, right now I'm left in the dark. I don't know where Chad and V are. It's just me all alone in this Tesla. I hope the hackers don't come and find me. So anyway, thanks a lot guys for watching. And guys, if you could subscribe to this channel and even click that little bell symbol, that way you're notified right when I make a new video because it's important that, you know, we're all on the same page at the same time. Click that like button too if you want to see me make more videos like this. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon, I hope.